It has been almost a year since Washington sent asylum seekers back to Mexico. And so far, less than 1% have been granted asylum through this controversial program. We have William Lajeunesse. He's joining us from the West Coast Bureau uh, with more on the story. William. Well, Molly, from the president's point of view, the Remain in Mexico plan is working. Out of 24,000 migrants claiming asylum at the border, judges allowed just over 100 to stay in the U.S. That's less than 1 percent compared to 20 percent in previous years, according to the Syracuse University study. Another 32,000 wait in Mexico, waiting for judges to hear their case. The only place I want to be is the United States. I never thought that I'd be returned here to Juarez. I'm waiting to go to the United States with my baby to give the best life to my son. Now, depending on your politics, those numbers spell success or failure. The administration credits the program in cutting illegal immigration by eliminating the incentive to make a claim, get released, and disappear. That low acceptance rate exposes the scam, they say, that most claims are not based on persecution, but a better job. This is not just for people seeking asylum. Mm. It is also for people who've crossed the border illegally and they're essentially on what we call a detained docket. It means they are not going to be released until their case is heard. However, critics say the policy is illegal and every asylum seeker is entitled to stay in the U.S. and given access to the courts. Secondly, they say Mexico isn't safe. This woman from Guatemala waits across the Texas border till her claim is heard in May. I never thought that I would spend this Christmas and New Year here. My dream was to be there in the United States with my husband, but I wasn't allowed to cross. I was returned here to Mexico. So not all cases are closed simply because of uh, uh, because they're denied, but procedural reasons or the migrant did not show up uh, in court. So the bottom line, Molly, is fewer migrants are coming because this program, they must remain in Mexico. All right, William Lajeunesse, thank you very much.